Okay, so <clears throat> I've been like, showing you and telling you guys that I'm going to try to find a way to, to uh, energize this coil, the regular um, Abatoris, properly. And uh, on my research, I found um, what I thought was correct, but actually might not be. But it's something that might be interest to some people um, because they say that one sixth of the torus is energized, um, and there's 18 numbers. There's nine positive, nine negative. So therefore, one sixth you'd have to hit three numbers six times on the positive to make that work. Well, that might be wrong, but I just wanted to let you know all the information that I've found out. All right, before I get started, if I confuse you all, that's okay. Just start here uh, after you watch uh, Randy's videos. Okay. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna run through this real quick, but I want you. I want to explain this document. I'll post this document online. So on my video in the description, you can find it, save it, look through it, uh, ponder the ideas. Okay. So if you look at um, the way the tourist is set up, you have these emanations. Here are the emanations. They shoot out and they highlight the positive numbers as they go out. Okay. That's where you get your three one uh, one sixth of the torus energized is this right here this is three uh, the three parts of of the one sixth each one of these is separate so here's what I tried I thought alright well each number um, should have a positive at one time and since there is uh, 18 numbers in the three family number groups um, then you should have six times where each number should be positive on each one. So that's why I have six stages here instead of three. Okay. Basically the first stage, the uh, activation sequence is doubling one, four, and seven activated. Uh, the second sequence is the three, nine, and six activated. And then the third is two, five, and eight on the halving. Now the next stage in the original um, math is the way it works is it goes back to the 1, 4, and 7 on the doubling. Well, what I'm confused about is the fact that in order to get through to another polarity, you have to go back through the 3, 9, and 6 to get over to um, your original start. Okay, so that's why I got confused and that's why this document's even here. So basically the first stage would be doubling 1, 4, 7, then your 3, 9, 6, which would switch your polarity. Then it would be positive 2, 5, and 8 on your halving. Okay. Then the third stage, or that, that would be the third stage, this would be the fourth stage, would be 2, 5, and 8 on your doubling. Then you would go back through your 3, 9, and 6 to get your polarity to change again. And you would have 1, 4, and 7 on the halving. Okay. Which is here. Um, I'm just going to explain this, like I said, and you guys can look through this document. But I am posting ideas of what I have, and I want people to look through it and shoot me down. It's fine. That is totally okay. Just explain it to me better than I know. Um, just this morning, I actually figured out that this might be totally wrong, and that's okay. But I wanted to throw it out there. Okay, so here I have the truth tables and how these work. Um, basically, the first part of this is the way the original stuff works. And the, the second part is what I've added on uh, because that's what I thought was happening. So the first stage is, uh, this is positive stage and negative stage. The ones here are happening at the same time, two, same time, three, same time, and so on. So here you have the doubling circuit, one, four, and sevens, positive, active. And at the same time, you have the negative halving, one, four, and sevens, because that's your family number group. That makes sense. Then, your next stage will be switching polarities through your 3, 9, and 6 for your next family group, which makes sense. Then the next stage, because the polarity switches would be uh, your halving, 2, 5, and 8 would be positive, and your doubling, 2, 5, and 8 would be negative, okay, which makes sense. Now, the part that doesn't make sense is the next step. In order to switch back to a positive 1, 4, and 7, you have to go back through your 3, 6, and 9. Okay, that means that you have to go back through 369, then get to 147s because the polarities are different. Well, in what I figured out, basically, instead of going back through, you just you energize your same family number group. Okay, so this, the fourth stage 
is 2, 5, and 8 doubling here. That's positive. And on the same time, you're 2, 5, and 8 negative. Okay, on your halving is active. Then you go back through the 3, 9, and 6 and change your polarity again, which makes sense. Then your halving 1, 4, and 7 is now positive. And your 1, 4, and 7 doubling is now negative. Then you start to cycle over, the original cycle. 1, 4, and 7 on doubling positive. 1, 4, and 7 in halving um, would be negative. Okay? You guys can look at this, and it'll, it should be self-explanatory if you know the math. Shoot me some ideas. Um, I'll give you my email. It's in the description. Email me. Um, I'll be more than glad to try to understand what I've got here, and if it's anything new, or if it's something that was old and thrown out, or, or what. It might be something totally new. Okay, so here are the same thing. I have positive and negative. The ones here are active at the same time. Twos, threes, four, fives, and sixes. Okay, so this is your truth table, but showing it in the grids. It's a little easier to understand. Um, this is the full grid. This is what you normally see on your nested vortices circuits here. Okay, um, I've also done the uh, symbol of enlightenment, positive and negatives. Um, if you scroll over here. Um, if you can't open this document, is it, it is an Excel document. You can download what's called Microsoft. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Microsoft Excel is what this is. If you can download um, a program called Open Office, and it's totally free, and it'll open anything, Word document, any of this stuff. It works really well. So that's called Open Office. I'll post that in the description as well. Okay, so I'm going to have you guys look at this and decide for yourself what's going on here and if it is uh, valid or not valid. Um, this is all happening on the same doubling circuit or nested vortices circuit, excuse me. This is all happening on the same nested vortices circuit in one cycle um, as far as what I'm seeing. Now when you look at it as far as the emanations here, um, you always have the same 396 emanating out, lit up positive. You always have the same 1, 4, and 7s you always have the same 2, 5, and 8's. Uh, the other numbers are negative at the same time. The other family number group pairs are um, negative at the same time. But the problem with that is, is they, they never go positive. So there's three sets of positive family number groups and three sets of negative family number groups. And half of them always stay positive at different times and half of them always stay negative at different times they never all the negatives are always negatives and the positives are always positive they never switch polarities which is why the six stage sequence is actually what I think might be the proper way um, I'm gonna be posting a video soon of this three stage and how to how it works and how to use certain frequencies to make the I'll explain all that stuff, and uh, people should not be confused about it, and it'll be great. Things should be wonderful. But for now, ponder this idea. Um, look through this. Um, tell me what you think. I need to know. Um, I've been scratching my head. don't know if this is something that needs to be thrown out, and uh, maybe this is something new that I've discovered. Um, I, I don't know, but I need everyone's opinion. Marco, even if you get to watch this, hey, shoot me an email. Uh, talk to me on the phone. I'll give you my phone number. Call me. Uh, Randy, I've been talking with you. That's been nice. Um, hopefully I get to explain this a little better after you see this document and watch the video. So that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Um, hopefully you understood that, and if you didn't, um, this document will explain it. Okay? Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully in about five days or less, I will have the original three-stage circuit all drawn out with all the frequencies as far as how to energize it, what degrees off it needs to be. Um, it's pretty interesting stuff, so keep posted. I'll talk to you all later. Shoot me an email, rwg42985 at aol.com. It's in the description.